I am Bill the Geek, broadcasting live from Chapala, Mexico. Welcome. It's Saturday. I think it's the 4th of September. It's Labor Day weekend. If you're working, if you have a job, then you have Monday off, and I hope you have a good time. I hope you go out and have a big barbecue with some ribs and some chicken, french fries, and all that good stuff. I hope you get your family and your friends together and just enjoy the end of the summer because it's going to be snowing for some people pretty soon. But anyway, I'm Bill the Geek, Bill Dallas Lewis. Uh, on our channel, we do all things Mexico, immigration attorneys, places to visit, food to eat. Uh, we have like, uh, we show you houses for sale, houses for rent. Uh, and when we try to share the joy of Mexico and I've been in Mexico for 16 years and I love, I love living here. Mexico isn't for everybody. But I'm extremely happy here. And uh, today we have a lot to cover. We have a lot of people in the house early kicking off the show. And we have a lot, we have a lot to cover today. Uh, we're gonna start off the we're gonna start off the broadcast with an amazing story of a of, of an American that moved down here just last night. <laughs> It's it's a it's a real story. Uh, we did some walks this week. Uh, we put up some new videos about walking through Chapala, uh, and and we have another video coming out this week about where regular people live in Chapala. Uh, also, Teresa has two new videos coming out soon. Teresa's my wife. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, I'll, I'll be looking at the camera over here. My computer's over here so, so I can see what's going on. And then I, I'll be looking at my notes down over here. We have some uh, food tips and, uh, but I wanna, I wanna just go here. If, if you're visiting Bayarta or if you're in the Bay, Puerto Vallarta area. You want to go see this guy, Doctors at Home. His website is below. This is this is Teresa's son-in-law, Aurelio, okay? But uh, he will come to your hotel, come to your house, help you out, get you all fixed up. And, uh, and I wish him and his wife, Dr. Diana, the best. Let's see who's in the house over here. Eric Drews, my man. <laughs> That's the way to kick off a show right there. We got stuff going on today. Angela, Angela from Washington State in the house. Welcome, Angela. Also, welcome Fab Taylor from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, Fab Taylor, uh, so glad to have you in the house. Uh, and being in Baton Rouge, that means you have electricity. You can get on the internet and watch the broadcast. Bless you. I'm, I'm glad everything is cool with you. Christine Prowls, good morning. Good morning, Christine from Montana. We got Washington. We got Montana in the house. Oh my, oh my God. How long are those Malicons? How long are the Malicons, Miguel? Uh, how long are the Malicons? And, and for some of you that don't know what a Malicon is, it is a structure uh, located on the water. Now, in Puerto Vallarta, the Malicon it's not a mile long, but it seems like it's a mile long. In Chapala, uh, they have two connected Malacan. That's like a half mile. If you go into some of the smaller Pueblos like Hocotepec, their Malacan is probably a little less than a quarter mile. It depends on how much money the place has, uh, the, the city or the Pueblo, how much money do they have and how much water do they have. If you go up north, I can't think of the name of the city that will come to mind. Their Malacan is really long. That name will come to mind. REO Speed Dragon in the house from Oregon. REO, it's always good to see you in the house. Eric Drews, good morning from the beautiful, oh, oh, just a block. Y'all right on, dude. Eric Drews, you're in Ahihik, just up the block from the church on Marcos Castellanos. Yes, I finally made it. Welcome, Eric Drews. Uh, are you familiar with 
pickleball in Chapala. Yes, I am. Joe Griff, Dr. John. Dr. John, good morning from Soggy, New Jersey. Oh, well, Dr. John, always good to see you. And Olga is in the house. Good morning, Bill and Teresa and everyone tuning in from Pearland, Texas. Olga, I didn't know you were in Texas. Bill, how is Teresa's family that live in PV? They're doing fine, Olga. Thanks for asking. I pray everyone is well after all the devastation that Nora caused. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and I forgot about that. This week, we had the hurricane. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm telling you, man. I'm so happy I'm in Chapala because in Puerto Vallarta, the hurricane devastated parts of Vallarta. I mean, they had hotels come down, restaurants came down. Uh, Malaki, Teresa's Malaki is located, uh, uh, it's like four hours south of Puerto Vallarta. They got smashed. Uh, you know, I tell you, you go to Puerto Vallarta, you visit Malaki, you visit places along the ocean. Uh, and it's beautiful when the weather is good, which is like, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time. But when the hurricanes come, it is not so good. Not good at all. Also, now this morning, me and Katie Ibarra, uh, Katie Ibarra is a realtor here in Chapala. She she only lives like a half mile away from me. She's from my hometown, Columbus, Ohio. And we went to two houses yesterday. We're gonna show you a little preview of what these houses look like. They're I was I was totally surprised. They're in the two hundred and forty thousand dollar range. Beautiful houses. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you uh, parts of those houses. What else are we doing? We're going to talk about some food here. We're going to talk about cheese, pizza, pig skins. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's see what. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Janie Hudson is in the house. Good morning. We enjoyed running into you last Sunday. Katie is super sweet and we are moving here. Janie Hudson, that's that was a trip. I was stand, I was flying the drone out in front of the gated community I live in. I'm putting up the drone. I don't think I had put the drone up yet. Excuse me. And a car pulls up to go through the gate. Then I look over, I see Katie Abera, the realtor, and and uh, and Janie's husband. I didn't know who he who he was at the time. He says, "Bill the Geek." I look at him. I was like, "Hi," you know. And then he says, "This is Janie Hudson." I, I said, "No, that's Janie Hudson." And they were going into my gated community, and Katie was going to show them houses. Uh, good luck. You're coming down here right on. Teresa De Anda. We got Teresa De Anda. Uh, Teresa made some fabulous food yesterday. She had. She doesn't have the video up yet. Where is that? Where is that? I'm looking for something over. Oh, where is that? I thought I put that on here. Where? Uh, uh oh, I'm. I'm looking for something. And it's not here. This ah, oh, here it is. Uh, Teresa was in the, and she made this fabulous food. There's Teresa in our kitchen. Uh, for what it's worth, all the woodwork we had somebody build that island. Uh, we we said, oh, we want an island with drawers on it and all, and all the cabinetry we had all that put in. It was very inexpensive, but uh, she made this fabulous food. The video will be out next week i think she has two brand new videos ready to go okay uh cmt 63 good morning from florida cmt 63 always happy to have you in the house mj good morning from tacoma washington can you update us on how covid and if is good time to visit chapala i'm gonna say COVID is really bad. COVID, COVID is is bad. Uh, uh, we, st uh, we we we, we oh, oh uh, Teresa's son in Milwaukee. People are dying like flies in that point in that small town. Uh, people are dying here in Chapala in Puerto Vallarta. But uh, I don't want to say anything bad about the government because I don't want to 
nobody coming to pick me up, but uh, it's, it's, it, I, I, I'm staying at home. Uh, Katie Ibarra is coming here after this broadcast. Uh, the houses that we did yesterday, um, the houses we did yesterday, uh, I'm going to put up the drone and take some shots. Katie will have on a mask. I'll have on my mask. But other than that, we just stay at home. Uh, I, okay, so so the virus is here and it is strong. Uh, and vaccinations are not easy to get for Mexican nationals or Americans or Canadians. It's not easy to get vaccinated down here. But if you come down here, wear your mask, practice social distancing, and use common sense, then, then it, it, it's a fine time to come down here. Now, I want to tell you guys this story. I've been communicating with this guy named Ronnie, and he he lived in New Mexico, and he started calling me about six months ago. Uh, it sounds like he's an African American. I've never met him, but he I, I know he wears size 14 shoes, so he must be like six foot five. He's 68 years old, retired for the mil from the military. Uh, he has money. He has money. He was at six months ago. He was trying to sell his house. Yeah, he was trying to sell his house. He said, I got to get out of the United States. It's crazy up here. Bill, and he talks like Fred Sanford on Sanford and Son. That's Red Fox. Uh, Bill, 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 I, I, I got to get out of the United States. It's crazy up here. P people carrying guns to Walmart. I got to get out. So he calls me up. Uh, and so finally he sold. He closed on his house like uh, he closed on his house like two weeks ago he was having problems getting his passport renewed because everybody that wants a passport right now there's like a 12 to 18 month delay so he finally got his he closed on his house got his passport and he flew in to guadalajara airport like friday night no that was last night right today's saturday he flew in friday yeah okay i'm, I'm confused but anyway so he uh, I, he's in the Dallas airport waiting to come to Guadalajara. Now, let, let me take a step back. Since I've started these broadcasts, I've met so many people. And the people here in this broadcast, all you people sending messages and stuff, I mean, you guys have become friends and family for me. And, and, and I feel like I'm Harriet Tubman. Uh, uh, and, and for you people that don't know who Harriet Tubman is, Harriet Tubman was a African-American like in the 1800s, and she would help slaves escape from the plantations, and she would take them along secret routes headed up north. And she helped hundreds, if not thousands, of slaves escape plantations. And I kind of feel like... I'm the Harriet Tubman for people that want to move to Mexico and change their lives. So, so anyway, going back to Ronnie, Ronnie is in the Guadalajara airport and he calls me on the phone. I've never met Ronnie. Okay. He calls me on his phone. He says, Bill, I like I'm in, I'm in the, uh, in the Dallas airport and I need a ho I need a place to stay tonight. And I, I said, Ronnie, yeah, she, I mean, you've been planning this for like six months. You don't have a place to stay. No, Bill, I don't have a place to stay. Uh, and I need a taxi. I need a way to get from Guadalajara to Chapala Ahihik. I mean, by now it's like 10 o'clock at night, right? <laughs> so, I, so I say, Ronnie, okay. Just and and this is a this is a good tip. There are some links below that you can call these guys. One guy is named Fernando, and you can call him, and he will pick you up at the Guadalajara Airport. If you're coming to Chapala or Ahihik, the airport is only 20 minutes away. But Fernando will pick you up. A new guy we just met. His name is Miguel. Now Miguel will have to come from Talaki Paki, which you may as well say Guadalajara. He may charge you a little bit more. But if you don't have anything planned as far as transportation goes 
have an address where you want to go and write it down if you don't have your Spanish skills together. And then when you get to the Guadalajara airport, I told Ronnie, just find a white colored taxi cab. Everywhere I've, every airport I've been in Mexico, they have yellow taxis or blue, and then they have white taxis. And the white taxis are associated with the airport. They're going to cost you like twice as much as the yellow taxis, but they're with the airport and whatever. So I, I told Ronnie, okay, Ronnie, get the white taxi and just give him, give him this address. And so, so I, I, I had, I gave, uh, I gave uh, Ronnie a couple of hotels to call and uh, one of them uh, I did a short video on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is that video? Ronnie Hotel name. Here we go. Uh, I sent him, I, I gave him the phone number of this place, La Nueva Posada. Okay, this is in Ahihik. It's, it's a really nice hotel. Uh, it's, it's not the Marriott. It's not uh, Hampton Inn. I love Hampton Inns. But the last time I stayed at Hampton Inn, it was like $150 a night. But anyway, they have a swimming pool. They have an excellent restaurant. And, and here's a little, you know, this is what the place looks like. It looks really old. There's Teresa walking through and taking the tour. Uh, they have wonderful artwork and in this uh, is a hotel, they have, and they have a restaurant. great restaurant and i wasn't real excited about a year ago uh there but are rooms the but they have nice big king right size beds but uh let's see what, what, what come on this this uh there you go da, 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 da. Yeah, okay here's the inside of the restaurant it's very clean and then outside and wait I, I, until I, I mean you can eat in here which is it's it, look how quaint this place is and it's and like three or four blocks past. away from every from everywhere uh, that you want to go in ah he he there but now um, that's the way it goes. Uh, but you can eat outside uh, and this is this lovely garden. You can, and it's right on the lake. It's right on the lake. It's very peaceful. So, uh, so this is where so this is what it's I like sent outside Ronnie. the restaurant. And I, I'm going to kind of oh, I mean, this place is wonderful. And it's really beautiful so, in the early evening. So, uh, so anyway, I hooked Ronnie up with the taxi information. I hooked Ronnie up with a place to stay. So the next morning he calls me around eight o'clock in the morning. Bill, Bill, I made it. I made it. I'm in, I'm in, ah, he, he, I'm, I'm at the hotel I told you about. And he's, he, he's not talking well and he's kind of wheezing. He says, but I got a problem. Uh, I, I take a lot of medication and uh, I keep it in a one special bag and I left it in the taxi and the taxi's gone. I got to get my medicine or I might have a heart attack. Or I might have to go to the hospital. I said, okay, Ronnie, go to the front desk, go to the front desk and tell them what happened. Tell them to call the white taxi company at the Guadalajara airport and, and they'll bring it back to you. Unfortunately, uh, he went down to the front desk. The people at this hotel, they they're good. They're they're good with their English, and so he could go down there, and he talked to the people. They called the Guadalajara Airport, and now Ronnie has his medicine. He's got a place to stay, and all is good. Oh, also, Ronnie told me he needs to go to the dentist. Okay, so so I said, Ronnie, okay, you want to go to the dentist? Well, like a five-minute taxi ride from you, you can go to the Dental Express. Yeah, if you want to make, uh, they call it, I've talked about it before, but if you want to get some stuff done to your teeth, implants, crowns, all that kind of stuff, uh, you can save a lot of money at the Dental Express. They have locations in Ahihi Chapala as well as Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, but Ronnie is good to go. Let's see what else is going on down here. MJ, good morning, Bill. Uh-oh, we got a lot of stuff going on. MJ, good morning, Bill from Tacoma, Washington. Call you up 
date us how or oh, i did that okay reo good morning bill talk boats to me love lake chapala because it's not spring it's not a spring break wakeboard a uh, and corona vibe i know it's shallow but what kind of boat can i have what are the laws and the speed limits uh, reo uh they actually in chapala and Ah, he, he, they have like these mini marinas. I've never seen any big like schooner kind of boats on the lake. I've seen sailboats on the lake. I don't I don't think you could you, I don't think a big boat like you could have in Puerto Vallarta on the ocean. I don't think that's going to work. But uh, I see a lot of people that have uh, in in Spanish, they're called lanchas, uh, small motor boats. A lot of small motor boats. Uh, there are places for you to dock your boats that you can pay for. You can have a small, a very small yacht. And no, uh, Chapala is not Bayarta. It's not, uh, well, yeah, people do come here for, for, scre- for spring break, but it's like there's, there aren't any uh, Chapala and Ahihik is not Bayarta. Ba- in Puerto Vallarta, they have giant discos, and I mean they have like scores of discos. You can dance and and party till six o'clock in the morning. That doesn't happen here, but yeah, you you can have a small boat and enjoy yourself. And I don't think you have to worry about speed limits because. Uh, they only have one marina patrol boat and it is rarely in the water. So come on down, get a small boat and you'll be fine. Good morning, Mikey49 from San Francisco. Maria Corzo, good morning. This is Mary from Miami, Florida. Welcome, Mary. Sky Eyes One, good morning. Everyone from Chicago planning to retire to Puerto Vallarta in a few short years, and I appreciate all of the info, Bill. I loved Puerto Vallarta. I, I loved everything about Puerto Vallarta other than the heat in the summertime and the occasional hurricanes. Uh, don't buy property on the ocean. Sylvia, good morning from Boulder, Colorado. Jack Webb, I'm happy you're here, Jack. Glad that you have some time out of the emergency room to say hello. Ah, uh, Gypsy Soul, good. Phil L., good morning from Connecticut, Bill. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I, I, I'm doing fine today. Uh, we, we put out a video. We put out a video this week, um, and, and it's our health walk. Um, uh, 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 every morning, Teresa and I do this walk and I've talked about this a lot, but I wanted to do a video on the entire walk and the, and the link to the video is below. I got a couple of things to say. The links to this video is below. It's like a 40 minute video, but it shows you all the different really cool things about living in uh living in in the chapala specifically the chapala area and and we start the video by uh walking just walking out of the house and in the video i speed up the boring parts and uh, now I have two cameras. I, I'm taking this shot. That's Teresa, my wife. And this was shot around nine o'clock or exactly at nine o'clock in the morning. And I've been using my Canon M50. It's a, like a $700 camera. But this was taken with my iPhone and my brand new gimbal, uh, which is uh, uh, what, whatever. So in the video itself, we speed this up so that you don't have to wait around. And so now we go through security and, and we, we're walking out. And, and what I like about this video is... Uh, you see a lot of dogs. Now that's the security dog right there. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, and that's Tony and Manuel and Jose at security. 
But uh, Teresa, and you can see this dog just kind of walking around. I, I like, and there's another dog over there. There are a lot of dogs in Mexico, and and sometimes you'll see them sleeping in the middle of the street, and cars go around them. They're they're totally welcome. People give them food. Uh, it, it, it's just great. But but we do this walk thing, and in the video we fast forward through places like this, and then we go down through these parts that you might want might not want to see but uh th this is our yeah. morning walk we and and if you watch the video we didn't oh. touch the audio the audio we don't have musical mm -hmm. background but if you watch the whole video you'll hear a lot of people saying buenos dias buenos dias como estas buenos dias i mean it's so friendly. That's another th reason I love Mexico. This doesn't happen in Guadalajara because Guadalajara is kind of like New York City. People just kind of walk fast and, you know, they're okay. They're okay. Uh, Puerto Vallarta is okay, but Ajijic and Chapala, they're smaller places. So now we're on the main drag and, uh, and okay, now here's, we're gonna turn this corner right here and uh then oh this this back up just a little bit and then we're, we're gonna go to the malecon and this is this big mural that talks that that is about the history of chapala and you can see how big it is this giant now we used to make this walk and we, at uh -huh. seven o'clock in the morning and here is the magic part We've been walking about 20 minutes, and then we make this turn right here, and it's magical. We're gonna walk right down here, and all of a sudden, we can see the lake and the Malikon. This is the very beginning of the Malikon. I, I guess this Malikon <laughs> is like a half mile, uh, but it's, I mean, at seven o'clock in the morning or at nine o'clock in the morning and, and you can see these mountains i mean and look look at that this is where we live every morning we look at we look at each other me and teresa we say we live here and it's so peaceful now somebody uh sent me a comment and they asked they said uh it doesn't look like there's very many people no well it's like at this time it's like 9 20 in the morning so the oh and all those places on the left uh the the, the blue wall the white wall there they are hotels and restaurants all as we're walking through it's all hotels and restaurants and you can see those little boats out there you look they're called launches you can rent those and they'll take you all around places but you can see the full video below. I'm just gonna kind of buzz through here. We get, oh, here we go. We get where the pigeons go. Where are the pigeons? Oh, yes. Okay, we're gonna get down through. Okay. Now these people like the lady in the maroon sweatshirt, no, in the green sweatshirt. We see her, see her every morning walking through the park. <laughs> This guy right here, we yeah. see him every morning walking down the back and forth, up and down the Malikon. Here we have got some pigeons going on, An another dog. We eat a lot of chicken, so our chicken bones, we bring them down here and give them to the dogs. And now we're right, this is the middle of town, the Catholic church is right across the street, and Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna zip on down through here. This is the other part of the Malikon. And now we come through this place and and here is the other an or another magical part of the walk. Uh, and you can see the cobblestone streets. And uh, we're headed this this is another magical moment. Every morning, we walk through those big green gates, and 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 there are a few people. And w one day there was a blimp in here. Okay, this is a, this uh, with the grass growing up through the sidewalk. This doesn't look very magical, but um, if we 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 changed our walking time 
uh, because it was raining, it's rainy season down here and it tends to rain right around 6.30 in the morning at seven o'clock. That's why we, we moved our time to like nine o'clock. And, but we time it so that as we walk right down through here, straight ahead is the lake. It's kind of bleached out, but we make, we time it so that as we walk down here, it's right before the sun comes up. And look at the park, people walking their dogs in the park. This lady's gonna give us a wave. Hey lady, hola. And uh, uh, so we sit here and we watch the sun comes up. That takes about two minutes. And uh, do 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 do. And then, then we continue our walk. There's somebody doing push-ups over there on the side. But you can see it's so nice and green. Ah, somebody else, not a friendly person. There, there are people like that walk. And then the, then, then the walk changes again. Then, then we go into the magical place. There, there's a special secret uh, fence that we walk through. And uh, with climate change, that little house over there on the right-hand side, uh, two years ago, it was under like two feet of water. And so this is our little secret passage that takes us toward going back to our house. And now all the modern stuff that we saw a few minutes ago is about to change drastically. And this is uh, this place here is about a half a mile from where we live. And they got everything in here. They got chickens, cows, goats. Uh, I think we're going to see a cow over here in a second. Uh, it's, so it's a different environment. Uh, there's a rooster there. And uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, all, it's all good. There's a cow. Okay, great for milk. Milk gives you cheese, the whole deal. But we're going to walk through there. But I, I'm going to say a very magical moment of this walk is at the very end at the very end of the walk then this is what we see we're headed back to the house into the gated community and it's just and then we say to ourselves we live here we live here the beautiful palm trees that's lalo Lalo, the security guard, he has three kids and a wife. He looks like he's like 18 years old. How do you do that? But anyway, I mean, uh, this video doesn't do justice. It doesn't do justice oh, wow. to the mountains and the greenery. And I'm telling you, I love Mexico. I love where I live. Love my wife. It's all good. Okay, we got more stuff coming up to see who else is in the house okay gordon white can i use my usa license to drive my brother to to drive my brother-in-law's car who is a mexican citizen yeah you can use you can use your usa license that's fine as long as it's current you're good to go jack webb do any of the american canadian expats have any work from home jobs based in the States, Canada. I will have to have something to keep me busy around 20 hours a week. Jack Webb, I, I've been working online for 16 years. That's, that's, that's what I do. I've, been, I've earned every dollar that I've made in Mexico to pay my rent, to buy food. Every dollar has come from money uh, working on the internet and I have clients I, I've never done any business in Mexico uh, all my clients are in the United States uh, Great Britain Australia in English speaking people around the world so yeah get on the internet and get your hobby together make videos but but yeah the, it, it just get your get a good place with good internet and you're good to go i'm like you i like to have things to do and next week next week i'm coming out with a video 
on how to rank high on YouTube. I'm going to start doing more techie videos and I'm going to mix them in with the walk videos, uh, the walk vid videos, the places videos. Our car is tied up. We won't be able to drive the car for six weeks. Got a little issue going on with it but then we can start going places again and so we'll still be but anyway this week how to rank high on youtube how to rank high on google and jack webb or anybody who's thinking about making money online i mean if you can make forty five hundred dollars an hour online and live in mexico you you got it going on yeah you you will not regret that Okay, what did I miss? What did I miss over here? Jesse and Sherry Smith. We love you, Bill. Jesse and Sherry from Rector, Arkansas. Hola, Jesse and Sherry. How bad are the mosquitoes there? Do you have screens? Does everyone? Uh, great, excellent question, Jesse and Sherry Smith. Uh, I wish I could cuss on my channel. I love to cuss, but I don't cuss on my channel. So uh, mosquitoes are, there are, uh, there are a ton of them. And I say this frequently, but look at these clothes I have on. I'm not wearing these long sleeves because it's cold outside. I'm wearing long sleeves because there are mosquitoes. And if I go outside, uh, the mosquitoes love me. Teresa can walk outside, inside in a bikini, and the mosquitoes don't touch her. They don't touch her mother. But I walk outside uh, with short pants and uh, short sleeves, and the mosquitoes eat me up. So yeah, the mosquitoes throughout Mexico, the mosquitoes own Mexico. And if you're looking for if you're looking for a rental or a house, make sure that they have screens. This is a three-year-old house. It was, we have storm windows, wonderful windows. Everything is screened. We have a screen sliding door. Uh, so if you're gonna rent a place down here, you wanna make sure that they have screens or the mosquitoes will drive you crazy. Or if you rent the place, you can put in screens and it will not be that expensive. Joan Richards, good morning, Bill. Hello from the Sunshine State, where COVID is worse than any other state. Yeah, oh, that's that's crazy what's going on in Florida. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to get upset, but that is just crazy what's going on up there. It's like, send the kids to school, let them die, you know, whatever. Okay, now. Rochelle Katz. Hey, finally caught the live chat. Rochelle Katz, welcome. We're glad that you could made it. Okay, Jack Webb. Ronnie ain't wrong. Linda Melillo, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Linda, for, for, for giving up some of that cash. Nothing, nothing like seeing a little bit of cash on Saturday morning, especially on on a Labor Day weekend, boy, I'm I'm backed up. I'm backed up here with with uh, comments. Da 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 da. Joan Richards, good morning. Hey, cock. Okay, well, Jack. Uh, love to travel in the house. Good morning from New Hampshire. Love to travel. Oh, I loved my time at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire and August. You people, if, if oh, I'm telling you, man, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, uh, especially this time of year is, is, is one of the most beautiful places in the world, especially if you have a car and you can get, get on the freeway and drive through the mountains of Maine, Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, and especially if you can be there in October. October when the leaves are changing and even when when the snow comes and when I was at Dartmouth in January it's five feet of snow on the ground all winter and 50 below zero well then it's a little bit different but I uh, love to travel glad to have you in the house Janice Nall coming next week to Ahi Heek from Olympic from the uh, Olymp Olympic Peninsula Looking for permanent rental. So excited. Janice, come on down and enjoy Ahi Heek Chapala. Uh, Gypsy Soul, 
Hi, Bill. I'm curious. I am curious. Every video I see of Lake Chapala, I never see anyone swimming. Is it swafe? Is it swafe? Is it swafe to swim? Uh, a gypsy soul. Uh, I've been here three years. Three years I've been here. And I saw some little kids swimming in the lake one time. I've never seen any adults ever in the lake. Uh, and I've said this many times on this broadcast, but uh, Teresa's daughter is a doctor of uh, marine biology. She studies the coral reef and talks with m marine biologists internationally. Uh, and she, she said, she said, don't eat the fish because the water's so polluted and uh, don't swim in the lake because it's it's so polluted. It's a shame. They used to have a fish down here. They called it white fish, and it was supposed to be delicious, and people would visit Chapala from all over Mexico to eat the white fish. And now all the white fish are gone. They all died. All the white fish died because the lake is so polluted. I would never stick my finger in the lake, let alone swim. REO Speed Dragon. Also, can you ask Teresa her recommendations for more? Oh, for mole without chocolate. It's the only ah, it's the only allergy I have. Although the chocolate I've had in Mexico doesn't make me sick. Okay, whatever. Okay, now REO is talking about mole. And until I met Teresa, I never heard of mole. But mole is it's 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 a sauce, uh, and it's brown, and uh, like uh, she'll make mole chicken. It's it's delicious. She makes her own mole from scratch, but it's 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 delicious. Now. For those of you that know about Skyline Chili, <laughs> okay, there, there's a there's a uh, Greek family in Cincinnati, and they own, or I I think they're Greek. They own this thing called Skyline Chili, and it's a straight it, Skyline Chili. It, it's it's like fast food, and and you can get it, it's spaghetti. Oh, it's I uh, spaghetti. It has like ground a uh, sprinkled ground beef I believe and then they have a mole sauce that they put on it and then you can get it with beans and onions that would be called five way chili but the mole is what brings it to life also skyline chili they'll sell you chili dogs which is like uh, a hot dog with mole over the hot dog and then melted cheddar cheese is to die for. You eat there a lot, you'll have a heart attack and die. You have, but okay, REO, I will hook you up with that answer. Okay, uh, Gabriel, are you crying or are you laughing? Joan Richards, I love that testimony about Ronnie. That's a, he, he's a trip, he's a trip. That girl, Terry, what's up, that girl? Good morning, everyone from stateside. Happy Labor Day weekend. That girl, did you get did you get a place hooked up down here? Linda, hi from Ohio, Bill. We were hoping to be in Lake Chapala by the end of the year. Appreciate you so much. Thank you very much, Linda. Please let us know where you are in Ohio. Columbus is my hometown. Jack Webb, time out of the ER. Uh, I'm watching and oh, <laughs> Jack, watching and working. Keep those tubes pumping, Jack. Uh, don't watch too much. Don't let the people die. Miguel, thanks for sharing Ronnie's story. I'm pulling for him. Uh, yeah, I hope Ronnie will do uh, well. He's a character and he has money. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh. I, I wanna. I wanna. Uh. Okay. Now. A video I'm going to put out this week. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we did the regular walk, you know, down through town along the Malikon. But last Sunday, I took a walk 
through what I want to call the regular part of Chapala, which is different than the Malecon, it's different than the main drag downtown, it's different than the park. And uh, and you can see we start out with the same. I'm I'm doing this walk alone, and uh, and 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 it's the same. You know, here, you guys have all seen this, but this and and. And, ah, I've got the drone. I've got the drone shot for this too. But uh, this is just a normal, I'm going to call this a normal neighborhood in Chapala. Okay, now, um, and, and there are all these little, they call them tiendas. And they're like little uh, self-owned, uh, oh, uh, uh, tiendas like little 7-elevens and you, you can see this is this is a meat market this is sunday morning so the guy doesn't have all of his chicken and pork and beef in there i don't know what that is hanging from the rack but here is some very popular food in uh this 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 is this is very popular um everyone in the united states has heard of pork rinds like you can go to any grocery store and buy pork rinds but they're all chemicals all that stuff is, is is purely chemicals but what these things are the this is a deep fried pork skin deep fried pork skin and if i had been here about uh, an hour earlier, you would see the guy, he's got this vat, this big metal vat, and it's filled with grease, hot grease, and then he batters these guys up, drops them in the hot grease, pulls them out, they're very inexpensive, and in a minute, I'm gonna show you some uh, pig skin. People eat pig skin raw i think and we're gonna see some in a minute i don't like it at all what does it taste like it, I, I don't like it Ter teresa's brothers and sisters love it teresa doesn't eat pork and i had some once and they eat it cold i i just found it to be nasty but anyway uh so anyway but uh, oh oh now this is kind of interesting uh, there's the electric company this is a tortilla shop and that is a machine that makes tortillas and that is how this family makes money and those claws right there those claws are uh the the, 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 the that pink uh cloth back there what they do is they cover the tortillas to keep them warm and in front those are homemade frijoles beans Teresa makes those in the instapot and uh, I've fallen in love with those beans and they're so healthy and good for you but anyway this video is going to come out next week uh, but it's it's a uh, very interesting uh, it's, it, this was an interesting walk, and this walk takes you straight to the lake. But about every block, you're going to see a tienda, a little shop like here. I don't know how they stay in business, but they've probably been there for like 50 years. They sell milk, Coca-Cola, uh, dry this, dry that. But this video will be coming out this week. Now, I want to go in here. This is... This is pork skins right here, pork skins, and there it is right there. We're at the Tien at the Tianguis, and the Tianguis is like a place where where you can buy really cheap fruits, vegetables, meat, clothing, all things cheap. You buy them here, but this this is pork skin, and you can get your pork skin just raw, just like that. You can eat it right there, it's white. And uh, uh, then I, th I think this is like, they can they put stuff on it. And they have pig's feet too. 
pig's feet is very popular. I don't know if I got it in this video though. Pig, I think this might be pig. I think this might be pig's feet. I'm not sure. But anyway, but we're in the Tiangis and Teresa says, you need to take some pictures of this food. And they make, they'll make pizza at the Tiangis and it's very inexpensive. You get a big piece of pizza for like 25 cents. And one thing I don't like about pizza in Mexico is, you'll see it here in a second. Uh, uh, da, 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 come on. What is this? Just just scroll on over here to it so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about. Ah, here you go. Here you go. Pizza with some kind of cheap ham. I mean, they put instead of pepperoni, a lot of times people will have ham. That's not even real ham. This is like some kind of cheap knockoff ham. That's probably all chemicals, uh, uh, but I don't like it. But but I mean, the Tiangis and street food, I had to take a picture of these tacos. Uh, these tacos, I mean, they're they're really good. They've got a beef or pork inside and you have to check out these plates now check this out she has plates okay now now check this out they've got the plastic plates and the plastic plates they put in uh those uh uh plastic bags and so you when you eat your food goes on top of the plastic bag. And the plastic bags are pretty clean, okay? And so that way, they don't have to wash any dishes. You'll eat your food, you'll finish your food, they'll take your plastic covered plastic plate, they'll take that off, take off the plastic covering, put on a new one, and that's how they wash the dishes. That is a very traditional thing in Mexico. Uh, uh, I've seen it everywhere. I find it kind of shocking. Whatever. Okay, Sia Steckler. Hi, Bill. This is Sia from Connecticut. I was in Lake Chapala and went to seed homes for sale, and I recognized the place you live. Very good. I saw homes for sale in your graded gated community will buy one and come on down ron good morning bill hi ron glad glad that you're in the house cmt 63 is it true about the invisible rock if you're if you're feeling threatened by a wandering dog uh yeah the dogs down here don't like rocks um now we're friends with all of the strange dogs because we give them chicken bones regularly. Uh, so we have, we have like, I'm gonna say scores of wild dogs that are friendly, but a lot of people, if they're walking, a lot of people will carry a stick. And you'll see people walking around, you know, and they'll just have a stick. <laughs> you'll see little old ladies there walking around, but they got a big stick. Well, what is the big stick for? The big stick is for dogs that's right uh okay okay now what's happening now ed ola ed from pittsburgh ola pittsburgh glad to have you in the house this morning uh okay our, our okay our e garcia 196 ola bill this is this is Enrique. Hola, Enrique. Just finished walking around the park for 30 minutes. Said only 30 minutes. Okay. Like to see more rental videos. Okay. Adios from the Windy City, Chicago. Okay. Let's see if we can hook you up with some rental videos. CMT 63. Oh. Do you take a pill every six months for the parasites? Should we take them before visiting? CMT63, thank you very much for your donation. I appreciate that very much. Yes. Uh, 
Okay, we have a doctor in the house. He's Joe Griffin. He responded to this question about, oh, two or three weeks ago. And I think he said, no, don't worry about it. I've been here 16 years. I've never taken the parasite thing. But we're very careful about what we eat. And oh, oh, Teresa, we went to the Tianguis this Monday. And that's where we buy really cheap uh, vegetables and fruits. And so all of the vegetables, Teresa comes home and there's a special, there's a special chemical. She fills the sink with water. Then she puts this chemical in the sink. Then she puts in all the lettuce and green beans. And so the whole sink is, is filled with all of the fruits and vegetables that we bought in the Tianguis. So this special chemical gets rid of all the bacteria. She she lets that soak for like 45 minutes. Uh, and then if any meat that we eat, and she doesn't eat meat, but she does eat fish and chicken. She cleans the chicken very well. She cleans the shrimp very well. And that's all the meat that she eats. I, I just bought some hamburger yesterday. I love my cheeseburgers. But anyway, so I'm going to say, don't worry about it. Okay, now, uh, Invisible Rock, Pittsburgh. Rah, rah, rah. Okay, Jesse and Sherry Smith. Bill, please don't give the dogs chicken bones. They'll splinter and cause damage. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, oh, oh, okay, we'll have to hold off. We'll have to put a stop on feeding the dog the chickens. We'll have to start carrying stuff. Sticks. Ah, uh, Ron, Ron, do you know if the Chapala Hotel Inn is a good place to stay? Uh, Ron, um, uh, we we were going to write a book and we were visiting hotels, uh, and and the Chapala Inn would not let us in. All the other hotels that we went to review their place. But uh, email me privately. Uh, my email is bill.dallas.lewis10 at gmail.com. It's in the description below. There's a new place. And Teresa, I, I haven't been there yet, but Teresa and uh, our neighbor went there. It's owned by these really wealthy people. And a, uh, there's an Indian restaurant on the Malacan and, ooh, that is fabulous. They have wonderful Indian food, but the people who manage the Indian restaurant, they are managing this new hotel. So Teresa and our neighbor Camille went down to the Indian restaurant to eat. And the, uh, the owner of the Indian restaurant has just began to manage this newly owned, newly opened hotel. And Teresa said, it is fabulous. So uh, forget the Lake Chapala Inn. You want to stay in this new place, email me directly and I'll get you the contact information for the new new place, brand new, right on the Malacan. Uh, you can walk right into town, get anything you want. So email me directly for that information. Okay, now let's see, where are we? Okay, Peggy, Peggy. Hi, Bill, love watching you. Everything is explained so well. Thank you very much, Peggy. That is my mother's name, Margaret. Thank you, Peggy. Angela Berg, safety for a single woman. Uh, well, on, on the planet, where is safe for a single woman? Like, uh, I mean, you know, uh, but my cousin just moved here two weeks ago. My cousin, uh, Tulsi, she's lived in Guadalajara alone for three years with no problems. She just moved to Ahihik, uh two weeks ago. She has no problems. When I lived in uh, Puerto Vallarta, I lived there for 10 years. I knew a bunch of single American Canadian women, women from Amsterdam uh, uh, living in Puerto Vallarta with no problem. But the thing is, 
uh, Mexico is like anywhere on the planet. Uh, you just have to watch your back. Uh, and and uh, what, what amazed me when I moved to Mexico, specifically Puerto Vallarta, is uh, sometimes it, it was just weird. You move to Mexico, you're going to see different things about life every day. Every day you're going to you're you're going to see something that you're going to see something uh like you'll see a pickup truck with 20 people in the back driving down the road. You'll say, "Really?" <laughs> you'll see an insect that you have never seen. You you could not imagine an insect looking the way it does and you'll say really okay you know i mean uh okay now what's my point oh what i would see in puerto vallarta i would see little old ladies they look like they're like 80 years old walking down the streets of puerto vallarta at like three o'clock in the morning yeah, and with no problems or or i might see like a little kid very well dressed and nice and clean just walking around at like four o'clock in the morning by themselves. So yeah, uh, I know many, oh, now on the other hand, I had a friend named Catherine who lived by herself. She, she owned a home in Puerto Vallarta and she was a real estate agent and she used to be a playboy bunny. Uh, and she used to date Bill Cosby, but um, she's very tall. Uh, but one day she just disappeared. And I think this was about a year and a half ago. She just disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to her. But I met another lady and her husband was a policeman in the Puerto Vallarta Police Department. And one day he just disappeared. So, I mean, that happens all over the planet, but can a single woman live down here? I lived down here. I was single for 10 years. No, I was single for 13 years. The rule of thumb is you got to watch your back. I had a friend living in Puerto Vallarta. I'm 65. He was like, he's like three years older than me. And one day, and, and when I, when I first got to Vallarta, I'd go out and party, uh, go to bars, walk home by myself at three o'clock in the morning, no problem. But I'm six foot tall, I'm black. I look, you know, don't mess with me. But uh, I had no problems. But my friend said, now I don't do that. I don't do any of that anymore. But my friend said, Bill, I'm like 67. If it's after nine o'clock at night, I have no reason to be out of my apartment. So it depends on how, how you're gonna live. If, if you get if you're going to be at home at after dark watching cable making a video reading a book writing a book doing some artwork uh just watch your back and live a good normal life and 99.9 uh, percent .9 of the time you're going to be okay but you never know on this planet you never know and that's an international thing. Okay, here we go. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, here we go. Uh, safety, safety for a woman single. Jordan White, that parasite question was mine last week and was answered in full. Very good. Thank you very much, Jordan White. CMT 63. I missed it, Jordan. <laughs> okay, Jordan White. He said he never does. Uh, Dr. John, that's jo jo Joe Griff, says he never does. CMT, I wrote to take, I had to take my dog out during the chat. <laughs> CMT, what is the answer? Uh, oh, oh, okay, the answer is, the answer is no, you don't need the parasite stuff. You can take it, why not? Why not? But you don't need to. I've never taken it. I've never had a problem. Danny Perkins. Hello, Bill. Danny's in, in the, Danny Perkins is in the house. Sorry, we did not get to have lunch. 
in Ahihik several weeks ago. We kept missing each other in my, oh, Danny, that's you. Uh, we kept missing each other. Yeah, you were calling me, I'm sorry. And with WhatsApp, you're in Texas, right? Danny, I'm so happy you're in the house. Sorry we missed each other, R-E-O. Ah, R-E-O, nice Cincinnati chili reference, sir. Yeah, yeah, Skyline Chili, you gotta have it, gotta have it one time. Jack Webb, the Greek family, oh, no way, started Skyline, love five way. <laughs> That's funny, Jack. It's so funny you talk about stuff and you think nobody knows about it. <laughs> but Skyline, if you ever get to the Cincinnati area, they do have... It has spread at least to Columbus, Ohio. You got to get some Skyline Chili from Cincinnati, Ohio. And they have one chain that is called Skyline Chili. But it's like Mexico. If you, if you go to a little family place that only has, they, they call it Skyline Chili, but it might be a little family place. And, and 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 then it's going to be even better because they they, they don't buy in large it, skyline chili the name of that place is like McDonald's but if you go to a burger shop uh, and a family's making it uh your your food will be uh, more rich okay um let's see what else is going on here uh Eric Drews Janice search Google for Ahihik rentals many agencies online I use to act, say, yeah, yeah, Lake Chapala. Also, I did a video on my cousin uh, 10 days ago. And Janice, uh, check out the way that, she, watch the video. It's not a long video, it's only 23 minutes. But, uh, and, 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 and you'll see how she found her apartment. She just moved in there about 10 days ago. But check out the way that she found her apartment. And it's totally different than, than the Google method. Uh, she thinks so she speaks. God bless you for helping Ronnie. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it feels so good. It's, uh, it's fun. It's fun helping people. I, I, it's 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 just like a lot of fun. Oh, and it's so much fun when people come down here. Teresa ran into somebody this week, and they had just moved to Chapala about a month ago, and this from the United States, and she was just telling Teresa how happy she was. Oh, oh, I mean, I, I'm telling you, man, uh, living here changed m me and I can living in Mexico I can be me uh, I'm a different person you know I've worked for corporations I've, I've had every job that you could think of not really but I've had a lot of jobs corporations you know I've governments you know the the whole deal but most of for Almost the last 30 years, I've worked for myself doing creative things and, and earning money doing creative things and being free. Uh, but, but if you can move to, uh, it, it depends on who you are. You may move down here and not like it at all. Uh, but, but I love it down here. Uh, now, why am I talking about that? Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm 65. I'm getting senile. I'm getting senile early. Okay, that girl, that girl. Yes, I did get a place in West Ahihik and can't wait to get home. Here, getting my stuff and my residency biz squared away. That girl right on. We gave, uh, Trace and I gave that girl a reference to move into her new apartment. I hope you don't rip those people off and they come after us, that girl. Jordan White. I think they call that fried pork skin chichacharone. Thank you, Jordan. I don't know what they call it. I always have to talk to Teresa. I tell you what, if you're single, if you're single, come down here and marry a Mexican national, make your life a lot easier, or just hook up with one uh, to be your partner. 
Okay. Uh, it, it, I mean, it just opens so many doors and yeah. And if you're married, divorce your partner, come down here and hook up with a Mexican national. Or if you're married, uh, hook up with a Mexican national and just have a threesome like, uh, you know, whatever that that'll work too. Jordan White. Uh, okay. Olga, my first purchase when I arrived Lakeside will be an Instapot. Uh, buy the Instapot ahead of time and you might save some money. We bought ours through Amazon. Uh, now, um, may I just kind of shoo, 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 shoo a little bit. Uh, there, uh, okay, Amazon is all over the world, but once you get to Mexico, you want to check the pricing on American Amazon and then you want to you want to get an account with Amazon Mexico because for shipping, uh, uh, I think we, we pay what well, we let's say we paid one hundred and fifty dollars for the Instapot, but shipping was like seventy dollars because dumb Bill bought through uh, Amazon US. And then Teresa asked me, uh, Teresa is very frugal. She says, did you get this through Amazon Mexico? I said, oh, no. But, and then shipping would have been free. So if you move down here, get an account with Amazon Mexico and Amazon United States. But I would consider getting my Instapot in the United States and just bringing it down. You, you, you probably get a better deal up there. Okay, Drew, Eric Drews. Oh, Bill. Uh, pork skin is crunchy and delicious, but it's baked, it's, it's deep fried, it's deep fried. Doctors say the worst thing that you can eat is fried chicken, and the second worst thing you can eat is French fries. Deep, both deep, I, I'm not eating that, it's all grease, but I bet it is delicious. And Peggy Lovell, thank you for the $4.99. It's greatly appreciated. Danny Perkins, I want to apply for the visa, but not sure. With coronavirus, this uh, would be, what, what? This would be a good time with travel to Mexico for the second part of the application process, being as it is. <laughs> yeah, Danny, I... I Come on down and just practice social distancing and wear a mask. Uh, that's it. That's what we do. I mean, it, it depends on, I mean, wh what are you going to do when you get here? You're going to walk along the lake. You're going to go to restaurants and eat food. Uh, maybe you go to Puerto Vallarta. Uh, I would, I, I would avoid, uh, I would, uh, oh, okay. Let's talk about this. Uh, the buses down here. I took my first bus trip from Puerto Vallarta. Uh, and I'm this, the name of this place, it's on the ocean. I'm, I'm having a, but it was a four or five hour bus ride. Okay. Let's say, okay, you're going to come to Mexico. Don't do things on Sundays in Mexico because Mexican nationals work six days a week. They work very hard. Most of them work 10 hours a day. And on Sunday, that is everybody's day off. Unless, you know, you work at like Walmart or McDonald's or something like that. It's just like the United States. But everybody else that has a job in Mexico, they are off on Sundays. So anything you do on Sundays, there's going to be a lot of people. Uh, the park, we the, the walk we made through the park on Sunday, that would be packed with families and people drinking beer and barbecuing. Okay, so, to, so, so now, now I'm talking about the COVID. So let's say you're going to take a bus ride from Puerto Vallarta to Guadalajara. That is a five hour bus ride. If you take it on a Sunday, the bus is going to be packed. If you take it on a Monday or a Tuesday, there'll be like five people on the bus. That is a great bus ride. And you can have social distancing. That's, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> 
I say you can come to Mexico, but just stay away from crowds. Wear a mask, practice social distancing, and you'll be fine just like if you were in the United States. It's, it's the same deal. So come on down and have a good time. Uh, do you plan to take your uh, do do plan to take your recommendation on using L I C Sanchez? Okay. Hmm. Let's come on down here. Uh, w W Pesty. Me and my wife visited Ahihik a month. A month last year. Had a great time. Loved it. Hope to return. Come on back, W W Pesty Jordan White. I'm sure Bill Cosby was in prison when that lady disappeared. <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> well, I, I'm sure. Uh, uh. Now, the funny, the funny thing about that story is Catherine was her name, and she dated Bill Cosby when she was a Playboy bunny, and at that time of her life, she was living in Hugh Hefner's mansion and then when all of the allegations came down against bill cosby catherine told me none of this is true i mean uh, when i dated him he was a perfect gentleman and he's a wonderful man and da 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 da, da and, and all these people they must be lying and i said well uh call call cnn call dr phil and so so she contacted the Dr. Phil show and Dr. Phil flew her from Puerto Vallarta to Los Angeles, put her up in a hotel. This is Catherine, the missing lady, so that she could tell her story on the Dr. Phil show. Okay. But what they didn't tell her was they had like 10 other women like on a panel with their attorneys and they all had negative things to say about Bill Cosby and Catherine was the only one that was positive and she felt like she had been uh, like a uh, 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 really jerked over she was really angry at Dr. Phil but but Catherine had nothing to say nothing nothing bad to say about Bill Cosby okay here here we go let's see what else is going on now oh what's going on uh, loose, lose and live life. Hey, Bill, can you let us know what's going on in the hospital in Chapala area with COVID? Thank you so much for all you do. Sure. Now, to my understanding, in Bayarta, Puerto Bayarta, and in Guadalajara, the hospitals are full. I don't know what's going on here in Ahihik, Chapala. I don't know if the hospitals are full here or not. The co I, I would assume that if the hospitals are full in Guadalajara and Vallarta, uh, they should be full here, but I don't know. Uh, oh, okay, I want to stop a second. And, uh, and I have on my notes written down here. Do 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 do. Uh, Teresa, Teresa is all over the internet. She goes to all these Facebook groups and she does research and all this stuff. And she came to me like three days ago with a quote. No, it was a letter uh, from Albert Einstein. And Albert Einstein wrote a letter to his daughter. And uh. I found this letter to be very interesting. And in Albert Einstein's letter, he told his daughter that the most powerful force in the universe was love. He said that was the most powerful source in the universe. And he said that people on the planet Earth, instead of trying to figure out how to make stronger bombs or go to a different planet. They need to figure out how to make machines that send out the energy of love because it's the most powerful force in the universe. Ew, I wish I have to hit uh, Trace up for the link to this letter. I read it in full in English. What a beautiful thing because, you know, it's like the Beatles 
would sing, love is all there is, love is all there is. I'm in that boat. So, okay, enough about that. Let's see what's going on now. Ah, oh, okie dokie. Ah, I, I think I'm behind. Ah, let's see. I think I, I, think I missed some stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry. Let me drink some water. I'm going to drink some water here. Mm. Mm. Ooh, water. Okay. You all right, bull? Okay. Uh, Gabrielle, hola. Okay. CMT 63, we're planning on visiting in the spring of 22 to look for a rental property that is available in the fall. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Uh, anything is possible down here. Just come down here, talk to people, uh, join Facebook groups. Yeah, I think you saw, CMT 63, I think you saw the video. I think you saw the video with my cousin. Just came out like a week and a half ago. Post some ads on Facebook for you and let people know. Go to Facebook groups in Chapala and Ahihik and start uh, meeting people in these groups. You know, Ahihik this, Chapala that, you know, and, and you'll make friends and then post an ad that says, hey, I'm, I'm coming down. I want an apartment for the fall of 22. And, uh, uh, and like, you know, there's two of us and we want to stay for a month or six months and tell the people exactly, tell the people what you want to pay. And you do that ahead of time. And now the thing about renting in Mexico is there are a lot of places for rent here. And it's just like the United States. People have vacant places, they and they're having problems renting these places, and they want reliable people. They just want to know somebody's going to be giving them money and occupying that spot. So if you can get your your name out there and meet some people, you will have no problems getting all that done. CMT sixty three. We are vaccinated, and we we and we'll have had our booster before visiting. Very good, CMT 63. That girl, no, Bill, I'm solid. You guys have no worries coming from my camp. I don't play when it comes to business at all. Okay, Terry, right on, girl. Okay. Uh, Cindy, hola, Cindy, late to the party. Uh, whenever you show up, Cindy, we're always happy to see you. Buenos dias from San Francisco Bay Area. I hope the air is cleared up a little bit. Okay, now, Phil L. Hi, Bill. Have you looked into a program called StreamYard? Yes. It will allow you to click on the comments and put them on and screen for everyone to view. It's free and popular for the streams. I'm going to look into that, Phil. I did look into StreamYard. To my understanding, it costs $20 a month. And I'm using OBS right now. OBS is totally free through YouTube. I'll check with StreamYard. I, it does some phenomenal things. And, 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 and what Phil is talking about, folks, is to make this happen, you got to hook all this gadgetry up to your computer. You got the microphone hooked up, the cameras hooked up, and then I'm broadcasting through YouTube. But before I can broadcast through YouTube, I need another software, which is called OBS, and it is free. It communicates with uh, YouTube, and and uh, OBS can do all of these amazing things. But with Streamyard, you I like with Streamyard, I could click on this say uh, Gigi on the go and then we can see her she can talk like I'm talking and and we can have like 20 people talking to each other but it's twenty dollars a month I'm trying to keep my expenses down but I will look into that more this does all this equipment costs money and I just got a new gimbal this week and a gimbal is really cool um, 
Oh, here it is. Here's my new gimbal. I'm so happy to have a brand new gimbal. You you put your phone or your camera on that, and when you walk around, it your camera doesn't bounce up and down like when you oh, it is so cool from DJI. Okay. Gigi, on to go. Thanks for all the great information. See, thank you, Gigi. Thank you very much. CMT63. Florida is crazy right now with COVID. People are arguing at, at almost every city council meeting or school board meeting. It's beyond ridiculous about masks. Oh, but I tell you what, you know, you know, people don't want to wear masks, okay? But women have to wear a blouse and a shirt and a bra. And if you take off, okay, let's say you don't have that let's say you don't wear a bra and you just go topless and walk around Florida, they'll take you to jail. That, I mean, it's done. It's done just like that. For you women out there, you go into Nordstrom's with no shirt, you're going to jail. Okay, I, nobody's arguing about that. If you're a man and you walk and you walk down through the streets of Miami with no pants on and your stuff is hanging out, you go into jail. That nobody's arguing about that. But I'm not touching it. I'm not touching. I'll have anything to say. Okay, Jordan White. That for okay. I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it alone. Virginia. I'm the one who is a therapist in New York, Virginia. Welcome. I hope you've been here tuning in for a while. Sono. Hi, Bill. Can you can you shed light on tourism? I would ha I would have to rely on tourism as a supplemental income if I were to move down there. Okay. Tourism. Sono. Sono, you're going to have to you're going to have to fill me in on what you mean by that. Uh, do people make money on tourism down here? Uh, yeah. I mean, people make uh, Americans, Canadians, Mexican nationals. Tourism is a big business. Yes, you can make money on tourism down here. It's all about marketing yourself. Uh, but yeah, you can make money on tourism down here, but it's all about marketing, getting your, maybe a, setting up a YouTube channel, uh, getting in a website, knowing search engine optimization, which I'll be doing a video about this coming week. Uh, but yeah, you can make money, but you, you got to do the works just like living anywhere in the world. Can you market yourself, charge people, and can you provide a valuable service? Okay, Rob's S, Florida. Florida. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching the politics today. Love to travel. Do you guys own the little cat that sometimes walks through the backyard uh, you're videoing? That little guy looks so happy. Love to travel. That is our cat. We've had her for like six years. And uh, that's it's really a funny story how we got her. I'll tell you her name in a minute. But in and when Teresa lived in Guadalajara, she had a big giant house, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, two stories, big backyard and a garage and on the front of the house with electric doors open and shut. I mean, this was it was a beautiful house. And one day, one evening, I'm sitting out on in the garage and and the garage was kind of open there were walls over uh there was a wall over here but it was open so you could see the sky and i'm looking over there and i get a glimpse and and things are walking across the top of that wall and i get a better look and they were rats i'd lived here like two years i'd never seen rats before well, I never saw a rat in her house, but they were walking along that wall. Okay, so the next day, there, there was this place called a cremaria around the, right around the block. A little small place, about as big as this room, but they sold 
cream, and this is something I left out of my presentation today, cheese. Uh, Creameria sells cheese and creams and milk. And so Teresa was around the corner and she says, oh yeah, we, Bill saw rats on the wall yesterday. Da, da, da. And the lady says, oh, well, take this cat for a day and they'll go away. So Teresa comes home with the cat you saw in the video. <clears throat> and the cat had some name. And the rats went away. Uh, and so Teresa went back to the Cream Maria and said, oh, that worked out so well. And the lady said, well, do you want to take, you want to keep the cat? Teresa said, okay, we'll keep the cat. Uh, what's her name? And, and the lady had named the cat some name from a Disney movie. You guys, it's a cartoon. You, uh, it's, it's not Cinderella or it's, but she gave, the, and, and whatever. So, and it was hard for me to say. And Trace said, well, what name do you want to give the cat? I said, let's call the cat Gata. Okay, in Spanish, Gata means female cat. And that is the cat's name, Gata. <laughs> but uh, if you move to Mexico, if you rent in Mexico, if you own in Mexico, uh, uh, buy a cat, adopt a cat, because there are mosquitoes in Mexico, there are bats in Mexico, and there are rats in Mexico. And the cats keep the rats and the mice away. Uh, our neighbor across the street, she has eight cats. Okay, enough said about that. Now, uh, da, 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 da. oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let's see what's going on. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, okay, that girl. Bill, where do you get the water pressure system there? Is it expensive? Mm. That's a very good question. I have to look into that. That girl, you have my... You have my email, email me directly on that. I'll take a picture of our water pressure system. All it is is a tank, but you have to have a handyman put it in. Oh, that thing only costs, we had one, but it didn't work so well, so we had to buy another one. And the new one, the replacement water pressure system was 6,000 pesos, which is about $300. Now what? That girl is asking me is uh, water pressure. Water pressure in Mexico sucks. I can say that, it's not really a cuss word. Water pressure in Mexico sucks until living in this brand new house with a good water pressure system. Uh, where, everywhere I have, have lived, even in Teresa's house, I had a great apartment for five years in Puerto Vallarta, everything brand new, sucky water pressure. You turn the water on and it's like dinkle, 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 dinkle. Water in this house, uh, you, you don't want to turn the water all the way on hot. It'll burn you up and the water's like, psh, you know, the water will knock you down. I like a shower like that. So if you're going to rent or buy, you do want to get a water pressure thingy. It's just like this tank costs like $300, have the landlord put it in. If you're gonna rent a place for one year or six months, it's worth the $300 and tell the landlord, I'll buy it, you put it in. So whatever, that's what's happening with water pressure. Okay, oh my God. Okay, now let's see what's going on now. Okay, Robs, if you can market yourself You'll be a happy duck. I used to own a marketing company. Yeah, I've been marketing myself for 30 years. It, being your own boss and making money is great. <laughs> oh, making money is a wonder. I love money. Uh, also, I, I'm, I'm looking at likes. We already got 27 likes out there. All you guys, oh, it, uh, help, help, help a brother out. Help a brother out. Click the like button. I like that, Ron. Uh, Virginia, I want to have a small store selling crystal, sage, angels, Reiki sessions. I would do therapy also. Yeah, you, you really have to think that through, Virginia. Uh, like if you live in Ahihik and maybe you join the, the, uh, the Lake Chapala Society and you start me meeting people, 
but you have to know how to market. You have to know how to market and meet people and get people to buy that stuff. I had a friend in Puerto Vallarta. She was an American. She made jewelry and her husband had a lot of money. Okay, but she was, she didn't make any money. So she wanted to sell her jewelry in downtown Puerto Vallarta. So, you know, I thought about it. I said, mm. and so she rented a little place about as big as this room. You guys can't see how big this room is. It's not very big at all. Uh, you can fit like a, a, a queen size bed in here and a dresser or something like that, but it's small. So she rented a place like this, put her jewelry in there, but then she had to be in that place from like nine in the morning till like nine o'clock at night. And she didn't sell diddly squat and she was bored to death. So she was there for like a month. You have, to, and, and it was a bad location. So marketing is everything, location is everything, but if you can market, you're good to go. Cindy, can you scroll up and catch my question about drinking water? Okay. Cindy, Cindy, oh, Cindy, where are you, Cindy? I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Oh, oh, very good. Cindy, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Cindy. And Cindy, thank you for those instructions. <laughs> Can you answer my question, please? Cindy, do you and, and Teresa drink bottled water or use a filter? We drink bottled water. And uh, there are many, many companies that deliver. We, 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 buy, uh, we buy five gallon jugs of water and there are many companies that will deliver those to your house. In fact, uh, they deliver, our company is called Bonafont, Bonafont. And they deliver on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And so right now, we have an empty five gallon jug sitting on the front steps and it costs us like four dollars for five gallons so i've got the empty jug sit sitting out here they might come while i'm doing this so i put four dollars under the jug under the jug and so all they do they'll pick up the four dollars and they'll replace the jug and when i finish this broadcast i'll have five blah, blah, blah. okay now my neighbor my two neighbors they have i'm sorry i just burped they have a system and uh they you can have your water purified for like twenty dollars a month but it's a big mess under your sink uh so oh, oh. and there's a thing that i have to show you because if you have that five gallon jug then you have to get the water out of the five uh, gallon jug. So you either, you either have to tilt the jug and pour it, or they have these things that it's, it's kind of like a gimbal. So if, if you can imagine, is this going to work or not? Okay, so here's my gimbal. So they have these things where if the gimbal, if this thing up here was my water bottle, that you, you can tilt it like this and it's on a swivel, then you can just pour the water out of the jug like that. And, and some of these uh, thingies, their little water stands, are very artistic and actually they're very handy. Now they have these other things. We bought this thing by accident on Amazon, but uh, there's, a, there's a thingy and it's, it's, like, it's like this thingy right here and Okay, imagine this thingy and you, you, and then it's got this uh, tube, this empty tube that hangs down and there's a button, you charge it up and there's a button and you put this thing on top of the jug and this empty tube is, goes down to the bottom of the five gallon jug and you hit this button and there is, there's a little, like a little thing right here and you hit this button and electronically the water comes up through this tube and it comes out of the pen and that's how we fill up our coffee pot glasses cups and it only costs like 15 dollars we got it on amazon i don't even know what to call it 
But anyway, uh, Cindy, that's how we do the water thing here. Okay, what else did I miss? I think I missed some other stuff. Cindy, okay. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, I'm sorry, folks, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm missing stuff here. Okay, da 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 Virginia, Cindy. Okay, Robs. If you have fruit trees, you will have, oh, cool. If you, I didn't know that. If you have fruit trees, you will have rats. I have fruit trees, i.e. pomegranates, lemons, key lime, Brazilian bananas. <laughs> you got it all. I have a, oh, I have a Raton service. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Robs. I, I didn't know that. And Teresa, she grows, uh, she grows uh, grapes in the backyard, strawberries. Something has been eating the strawberries just as of this week. Jordan White. Cindy, there's no scrolling up on Saturdays. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Robs, I have two cats. Mr. Smokey, R. Bear, and Ms. Elsie Mayo, but they never go outside. They have no... Oh, they, oh that's cold, man. They have no front brakes. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, reverse osmosis. Hmm, interesting. I want, I want to live where you live, Bill. Yeah, come on down. Come on down. Rent or buy. Ah, okay. Cindy's laughing. Love to travel. Ah, love this story. We will have a... Get a cat. I believe it is not every cat we have owned just showed up and stayed until death do us part. Yep. Cats are a real experience. All life forms are a real experience. Uh, get Nexium and you will be able to eat fire. Hmm. I.e. burp. Okie dokie. Sounds like an electronic water pump. Yeah. Okay. Now. Love to travel. Uh, we're going to go to a video clip here in a second. Love to travel. Forgot to ask. This is a housing question. How much does it cost to put solar in a house? We have seen, we have been looking at a house prices. We were just wondering about solar panels. Very good. Solar panels are not that expensive here. And, uh... Oh, uh, 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 I'm trying to remember. I've got, I've got the guy's card here in my card stack, but solar panels are not that expensive. Also, another thing that I want to get with the solar panel, because we use gas. Uh, we have a gas, an underground gas tank. So to cook, use our dryer, get hot water. All that gets done through gas, not through electricity. So there's, there's something, it only costs like $600. You put it on your roof and it's solar powered and it makes gas somehow. I, I don't know. Or it's electric and whatever, but that's $600. But uh, solar panels are very affordable. Okay, Rob's. We would rent first, then buy. Very good. CMT 63, do they have garden centers to buy herbs and vegetable plants. Oh, CMT 63. Uh, Teresa is a plant freak. And uh, uh, herbs and vegetable plants. Oh, uh, we, uh, we go, if we drive around and Teresa sees a plant shop, it's like, stop the car, stop the car. Oh, there's a plant shop. Okay, and, sh and she buys all kinds of, she's growing all kinds of herbs in the backyard. Oh, she, she grows uh, kale in the backyard. Um, and, and, and there are many, many, many places like that. Uh, they're, they're all over the place. We walk, we walk by one every day. You can buy all the plants you want, all the seeds you want, all the vegetables you want. Uh, very inexpensive. And the private places, and when I say private place, I mean it's like a family. All the bit, many of the business, if not most of the businesses down here, are family-owned businesses. 
And the people that sell plants and seeds and all that kind of stuff, they, they really know their stuff and they know their fertilizers and chemicals, you know, to help the plants. So yeah, all CMT 63, all of that is going on down here. Come on down and get it. Okay, now, da -da -da, da -da, puppy love, puppy love. Since being in Mexico, have you experienced a lot of issues with losing water, electric power, etc.? Puppy love, it comes and goes. Uh, we've been here for three years. Ah, yeah, yeah, and, and it will happen. I think about two weeks ago, uh, about two weeks ago, something went wrong with the water. Fortunately, our water didn't go out. Uh, sometimes the electricity goes out. It might go out for the people across the street, but not for us. So you will lose water and electric from time to time, but it does not happen frequently. But I, I remember 16 years ago, I lived in Columbus, Ohio for six months. And it was a beautiful sunny day, a beautiful sunny day in Columbus, Ohio, in the summertime and the electricity went out and it was out for like five hours. It was like, why did the electricity go out? You know, so it, it happens all over the world. So it will happen, but it doesn't happen so frequently that it is to totally annoying. I want, I want a bay tree, good for you, love to travel. Am I allowed to bring my orchid plants? I don't know. They, 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 uh, <clears throat> they have this, one of the freakiest uh, things about crossing the border is plants. Uh, I mean, you, you're gonna have to look that up. But, but when, you come, when you get on an airplane, they always ask you those questions. Are you carrying any like plants or like tomatoes or certain things they won't? I mean, I don't understand it personally. Brian, enjoy watching your videos. I plan on coming there in February to visit friends, but my legs are not the greatest. Just wondering if I should bring my walker as I was going to, to come bring my cane with me. Keep up the videos. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> let me, let me, uh, let me go in here. <clears throat> Brian, uh, da 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 da. Brian, Brian, I'm looking for something here. Ho ho ho. I'm looking for something here. Ah, here we go. Okay. And uh, Brian, when I mean, look at these streets, Brian. I mean, I mean, look. This is cobblestone. And, and look at these sidewalks. Uh, y yeah, definitely bring your cane and definitely bring your walker because in Ahihik, in Ahihik, even Guadalajara, now Guadalajara isn't going to be like this, but in Ahihik, Chapala, even a lot of Puerto Vallarta is going to be like what you're seeing here. So bring your cane, bring your walker. Uh, and be ready for the streets. We're going to go really quick. We have uh, we have a video. We have a video coming out. We have a video coming out this week. And uh, this is these are houses for sale in Chapala. And I'm going to stop this video just for a second. And uh, I was going in this house, Katie told, to, uh, Katie Ibarra, her contact information, if you want to buy a house, she, she doesn't rent houses, but she sells them. Uh, and so she contacted me this week. She says, okay, Bill, you want to go, can you video a couple of houses for me? And after the broadcast, we're going to go do the drone thing. And I walked into this house and I was saying, okay, another house, another house. But this house is selling, I think it's $230,000. Let's take a look inside this okay. house. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna go through the garage here. I fell down. Here's where I fall down. 
Oh, it's almost like a Bugs Bunny movie. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not taking pictures of the sky on purpose. <laughs> that actually hurt. That's Doug, the real estate guy. But I got up. I, the camera's okay. I'm okay. But now we're going to go into this house. And we don't need to see the garage. No garage, no garage. But let's go into the house. Here you go. Come on, let's go in the house. Here we go. Check out this house. That's like the living room, whatever you want to call it. I mean, this house blew me away. We've been in a lot of houses and some people want like $300,000 for the house. And the furniture here is optional. Mate, that's Phil, he's the owner and his wife. Uh, Barbara, thank you, Phil and Barbara, for allowing us. And, and look at the big swimming pool out there. This no, is in look, a community like a, where people, there's Teresa, uh, they just walked out, house. and there's Katie Ibarra, this is my hometown friend from Columbus, Ohio. She's lived here in Chapala for 10 years. Okay. Look at the high ceilings. I mean, this place is the bomb. I mean, it, and it's, I think it's 230 or $240,000. And, uh, and uh, they will negotiate with the furniture. I mean, this place, wait till you see the kitchen here. Oh, oh, look at the fireplace. That's a, that's a wood burning fireplace. And these are smart to have in the Chapala Ahihik area because it gets chilly in the winter time at night. And, and look at the, that it's a wonderful backyard and that is a, a neighborhood swimming pool. Uh, but, but I mean, I love this house. And uh, check out the stairway and those stairs, those stairs, you gotta see this kitchen. Uh, th this video, will have this video out this week, we're going to go shoot. Wow, so we're going to go shoot the uh, drone video kind of uh, as soon good. as this broadcast is over. Is now, fireplace? that okay, this is another okay. fireplace, but it, that is a gas oh, okay. burning fireplace. I'm trying to get to the kitchen. Let's go in the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? Here we, here we go. Are we going in the kitchen now? Yes. Check out this kitchen. Uh, you got your dining room table in front of the living room, above the living room, beautiful stove, lots of windows, lots of light in this house. Uh, and this is a gated community, a semi-gated community, dishwasher, lots of uh, cabinet space. And you ought to see, you ought to see this bedroom, but tell you what, uh this video is coming out this week and so we did this we did this place and then oh oh i gotta backtrack i left something oh look at that kitchen i can live here and that's connected to the front uh living room i wait and and you, you got to see this video this week uh and you have to see the bedroom uh, but 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 we did another house and the other house right down the street. Oh, where is this? Where where are we now? I'm lost. Um, ah. do do do. Ooh. Oh no, that's and that's it's a about hotel. seventy-five degrees. Katie house, Katie house too. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Now here's the other house, and I'm going to kind of. But here's the entrance, little place to sit. You go inside, it looks like the same design. Uh, let's go down here and go, go into, it, it's the same design, but you can see the ceilings and the kitchen. The kitchen, the kitchen in this house is the bomb. I mean, look at this kitchen. It's, and, and, and you can't imagine how big this place is. But anyway, these videos will Does be coming out English? this week. Oh, good. Probably by Wednesday, and I think it's going to be one 
video. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't yeah, clicked have the like stuff. button yet, I'm click the like button. Just can't do. Why not? It's America or Canada yeah. or Mexico. I do no. have something oh, yeah. else that I forgot. For like four days. I have and for, and forgot to bring this up. Uh, uh, this, let's see what's happening over here. Do -de -o -de -o -da -da. Oh, hmm. Oh, uh, oh boy, the questions are coming now. Da -da -da -da. Okay, Rob's. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. let's see what's going on. Orchid plants. Okay, uh huh, Rob's. Probably not. You're not allowed to bring plants or fruit or food across any border generally. Is that is that wild and crazy or what? CMT 63. Thanks, Rob. Certainly, Rob. Very polite. I'm glad you guys are so polite here. Adam Bruno. Hello. Love your content. Can you recommend best companies for home rentals for your area or nearby who you truly trust? Adam, in the description below, there's a lady that specializes in rentals and she does home rentals. She was referred to me and I want to do an interview with her and actually see some rentals with her. But she was referred to me by Katie Ibarra, who I make these videos with and Katie is very reputable. So yeah, Adam, just look in the description and you'll see the lady's website. I think the title in the description, it says like apartment and home rentals. Just look in the description. Jordan White, will my Cyrus satellite radio work in Mexico? I have no idea, Jordan, I'm sorry. <laughs> Francisco Rodriguez. Hi, all the good souls of this universe. I'm here in California. Soon I will be in Jalisco. And for those of you that don't know what Jalisco is, that is the state that I live in. Puerto Vallarta is in Jalisco. Malaki is in Jalisco. Guadalajara is in Jalisco. And uh, Chapala and Ajijic and many other places. But sure, come on down to Jalisco. I need to sell my architecture land nine acres any anyone who may know any any oh that might want to buy it i don't know anybody nine acres <laughs> good luck with that rob s i love when you show us houses for sale cool right on I'm, I'm i'm glad to be helpful puppy love given the opportunity would you consider moving to another area of mexico Puppy love, that's a great question. People ask me that all the time. And I'll be very honest. Let me be very honest. Uh, I've never been anywhere. Uh, now, this is going to sound like I'm totally full of crap. I don't want to say this because I know something about it has to be wrong. But I'm going to say I haven't been anywhere in Mexico that I have not fallen in love with. Everywhere I go in Mexico, I'm, I'm looking around and I'm saying, wow, this is cool. I could live here. I could live here. I could, I, I could live here. And I, you know, I just, and wherever I am in Mexico, everywhere that I've been in Mexico has been fabulous. So my advice for people coming down here, uh, come down, rent somewhere for like six months and just travel travel through mexico traveling through mexico is very inexpensive hotels are cheap buses are cheap uh some air flights are cheap uh but rent a place for six months maybe a year and just travel a lot and find your spot that's what i would do Okay, puppy love. Rob S. I have I have a bell just like that on my front gate. That's funny. Nice stone wall. Be careful. Be be careful, my friend. How many square feet? I don't know. Katie would know that. We'll put that in the video. Beautiful pool. I would prefer one level. Steps are 
trip hazard for me. That's why I fell down in the video. Brian, beautiful. It's a beautiful home. It's a beautiful home. Mm. Rob S. is a great cook. Good for you, Rob. I'd feed you and your wifey. Very good. Yeah, the house is great. Brian, forgot to say I'm from Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Hey, you guys, Brian is from Winnipeg. We haven't had anybody in the house from Winnipeg. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, uh oh, what's go what's what's up with that? I'm looking at stuff. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, okay. This get a little scroll going here. Uh, Bill, Bill, do you, Bill, do you live in San Nicolas? Uh, when I was in Ahihik, I went to two gated communities. One of them surrounded by a golf course. Yeah, yeah. I have a video on. That, and I have a video with that golf course in it, but I live in Chapala, Danny. Uh, is that Danny? Yes, I, I live in Chapala. Robs, we have timeshares in PV, but I would live in San Miguel de Allende. I agree. I could live anywhere in Mexico, Robs. Uh, have you ever thought of living in Panama City? Uh, Tere I've never been to Panama City. Teresa has, has visited there. Uh, she loved it. So I don't know. Okay, I have one more video clip. One more video clip. Hmm. Now this is okay. Now this is what freaks me out about Mexico. This is cheese. We're at the Tianguis. Uh oh. What happened? What happened? What happened to my video? Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Now, this is cheese. And all cheese in Mexico is the same color. But they all have different names, okay? Uh, and they all have different flavors. Uh, uh, like they have one cheese, I think it's called Gola cheese. And it kind of tastes like cheddar cheese, but it's white. All cheese in Mexico is white. And if you go to the grocery store, they might have an aisle. Now, now look at that. They have like cream cheese. It's kind of hard to see because the glass is kind of covered up with uh, cellophane. So, so it's, it's hard to see, but all this is white cheese. And if you go to the grocery store, uh, other than... Uh, fake cheese from the United States, all the cheese is white. And, and, and you might have like a, an aisle in the grocery store that's like 20 yards long just for cheese, and it's all white. But once you learn what you, once you learn what the different types of cheeses are and you know their names, then you can get some really good cheese, but that's very confusing. Ooh, okay, you guys, I'm talked out. I'm talked out, you guys. Uh-oh, CMT63. Do you know what pre-existing con conditions prevent you from getting private insurance? Hmm. I have been on blood pressure medication, I think, because of the pandemic. Hmm. And I expect it will lower. I expect it will lower when we move. Okay. Uh... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Rob. Yeah, Rob. Yeah. Uh, CMT63, uh, email me uh, in the description. Email me directly through my email, and I will give you the email of Teresa's sister-in-law. And she sells insurance. We buy our health insurance through Barrow. She only speaks... Spanish. So you have to deal with that, but you can use Google Translate or translate Google to create the message and to translate what she sends you back. Okay, you guys. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that, that, that cheese. Yeah. Yes, Cindy, that, that cheese counter is at the Tiangis. That cheese counter is at the Tiangis where we get all our cheap stuff and all that stuff comes right from a farm or that family makes it. Okay, you guys, I'm 12.04. I'm talked out. 
Uh, let me see. Let me look at my list to make sure that I got everything. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me let me do some advertising here just for let's uh yeah again if you're in the Puerto Vallarta area and you need a doctor uh this is Aurelio's website it is in the description below he's a great doctor he will come to your house and uh uh he's called doctors at home but anyway, this is Bill the Geek. I want to thank everybody for showing up. And CMT63, uh, if you email me like right now, I'm not going to respond right now. Give me about 24 hours to get back to you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Olga. Thank you, Olga. Thank you, everyone. And it is Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. It's Labor Day. For you folks in the United States, have a super great weekend. I tell you what, uh, after I get out of these uh, live sessions, I think, oh, wow, I don't have anything to talk about next week. <laughs> and that's what happened. Uh, that's what happened uh, last Saturday. I'm thinking, what am I going to talk about next week? So I don't know what I'm going to be doing next week. Um, but thank you. Thank all of you. Thank you, Robs. Thank all of you. CMT 63. Thanks for that donation. Thank you very much. But I'll be back next week. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. And uh, thank you so much. And have a great Labor Day weekend. This is Bill the Geek signing off i love you all and uh if you would please uh grill out and burn up a cheeseburger just for me and put some cheese on it and and, and some uh some butter and have some great corn on the cob that is from the grill i do miss my american food very good. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, everyone. This is Bill the Geek signing. Oh, this is Bill the Geek broadcasting live from uh, where am I? I'm in Chapala, Mexico. Love you all. Adios. <laughs> uh.